Welcome back to another episode of the United States Air Force Drone Racing League Flight School. And guess what? Even though this is the DRL sim, you don't just have to fly the DRL Racer 4. There's actually a whole bunch of different drones in here that you can choose, and so when you go in to select your map, and we're choosing the, the Air Force Boneyard map, right here you can click on the drone and choose the different types. And we've got everything from little 3-inch drones all the way up to 7-inch. So not only can you train for drone racing league style events, but you can also try out different kinds of high performance drones. So we'll switch over to Heads Up's frame, the Switchback, and it's just a little super light five inch drone. And the first thing you're gonna notice is that there's gonna be a lot more punch th over the Racer 4. So because it is a much lighter drone, you have to change how you fly it because your altitude management is gonna become a much different process. It's gonna climb off of the ground faster which means that as you're flying it around, you need to make sure that you're not changing altitude too much. So you can see that I'm kind of like bobbling up and down as I try to add throttle versus flying on a straight line. Another thing to think about is that a smaller, higher thrust to weight ratio drone is going to change directions much faster. Um, and so you can fly it a little bit differently. You can choose your lines based not just on how the, the momentum is going to carry you, but you can push that momentum a little bit harder. Let's change drones again to something a little bit smaller. So we'll go down to the little 3D Shrieker. So this is a much smaller drone and it's gonna have a little bit smaller thrust to weight ratio, but it's also gonna fit through stuff better. So like, I don't think I could fit the Racer 4 through this little obstacle, but I think I can do it with the three inch drone. Let's try, yoink, there we go. Okay, so let's try the Racer 4, see if it'll fit. Ready? <laughs> nope, not at all. So, you know, you, you pick your the type of drone that you're flying based on the kind of mission that you're trying to achieve. You know, each drone has its own unique use and being able to practice with those and try them different things out inside of the sim is one of the most valuable parts about having this tool in place. So thanks for watching and aim high.